I made active ragdolls that can barely walk the earth. What's the most logical thing to do next? Give them weapons. What could possibly go wrong? After being chased by naked men, feeling bad for shooting unarmed ragdolls, I finally decided to give them weapons so I could justify doing evil things to these poor souls. As much as that might sound easy, it was much more work than just dragging the weapon prefab in their hands. And I mean much more. Well, because they are active ragdolls, their limb movement is made using physics forces, so adding more mass to their limbs messes up the original calculation. After writing some very complex code, it now works perfectly. Well, kinda. If you remember the realistic injury reaction system from my last video, shooting their limbs will make them weaker and they will have difficulty aiming straight. And then I came up with this genius idea. What if I made them switch their shooting hand when their dominant hand got seriously injured? This way I can convince the audience that this is just a cool feature and not the best solution that I could think of. Perfect. Anyways. Weapons were finally in the game and I was able to do whatever I wanted to these poor souls without feeling any guilt, shoot them, shoot their bodies, shoot their bodies and give myself super overpowered guns just to make them suffer even more. As much as I would like to commit even more crimes, it was time to move on. I started working on a squad system which will give them better chances against me. Squads are led by a team leader which gives them orders, when the squad leader gets killed, his authority is transferred to the next soldier on the list, making sure that the squad always has someone to take orders from. They'll move in actual formations and adjust them as needed. I've also added the suppression and morale systems which will allow squads to select appropriate military tactics based on the current situation. It was so exciting to see them change their behavior based on the current situation, so I thought to myself, what if I tried to transfer these health and suppression effects to the player in some kind of way? Then I came up with an idea to use visual and sound effects to show the current status of the player and they look amazing or sound amazing. Listen. Every single morning I was basically forced to look at these naked men, so one day I said it's enough. I made some actual models, and some more models, and some more. The combat in my game was insanely hard, so I decided to do the most logical thing possible. I made it even harder, by adding armor to the enemies. You better hope that those cooking pots and wrenches are enough to save you from my ridiculously overpowered gun. With all this stuff added, it was finally time to have some fun in the actual game world. Yeah, it looks like I'll need to optimize everything first. I decided to disable the ragdolls when the characters are far away from the player and thankfully everything worked on the first try. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it will see. So it was finally time to have some fun in the actual world. Except I had no idea where I was going. I decided to add a dynamic map as well as a compass to assist players in navigating the world. Since everything in the game was made out of scrap, the armor, the weapons and some future stuff that I can't reveal yet, I also decided to make the oil pumps out of scrap. I mean, just look at that beauty. So the main gameplay concept is that the AI is buying soldiers and arming them in order to capture all of the oil patches on the map. The player's goal is to stop the AI and capture these oil patches for himself in order to construct oil pumps and harvest oil. This mechanic will, of course, improve as the game development progresses. I'm planning to add a lot of defensive structures in the future to spice up the combat. If you wanna know how I created the active ragdolls and the injury system, check out this video here. Hit this button, this button and this button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.